Hello, this is Walt. Uh, what we're looking at here is the back of my Jacobs R755 engine. And what I have here are the provisional or just temporary um, tanks and ignition system that I hooked up just to test the engine to make sure it runs. Obviously, I've got an oil tank. This is my primer fuel tank going down to the primer. This is my main tank going down to the carburetor. Obviously, I don't want to have too much gas in it. Um, and my batteries. This is a 24 volt starter system, so I have to have two 12 volts that I hook up in series in order to get the 24 volts. And then I have a separate battery for the ignition, which is only 12 volts. But this ignition is actually kind of interesting because what we have is a coil and a timer or a distributor. And they call this basically a battery ignition. So here we have a test club propeller that I used, and you'll see that in the video upcoming. I just wanted to give you a preview. And this is the method I had to use in order to bring it back into the garage. Unfortunately, my wheels that I have here are just a little bit too small. So there's some upgrades I need to make. Um, need to put bigger wheels on it. And I need to build a sturdy battery tray because when this test club propeller actually was working and blowing, uh, yeah, uh, pushing the air back. The batteries actually are so much force that the batteries actually slid off the back. But fortunately, I didn't have them tightly connected, so there was no damage. But it's another improvement I need to make. So I guess this fall and winter, I'll be working on a faux fuselage in order to attach it to the back to hook up all the rest of the stuff permanently. So that's about it for now. Walt signing off.